We're glad you're with us on this Wednesday edition of Take 5 at The Journey. And, uh, you know, we're getting ready to plant another campus on 190 Spruce Street down in uh, Lexington. And uh, I've been meeting a lot of people. And there's things that have just been coming back to me. People that I don't know. People that are hopeless. People that are poor. People that are on drugs. People that are strung out. People that have no hope. And just getting to know their name. I want to know their name. And you know, I thought about this scripture found in uh, Luke 19, uh, verse 5. And Jesus said, when he came to that place, he looked up and he saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste, come down for today. I must buy at your house art. Let's go eat together. You know, I have found out in my life you know, people have no one to even bury them. No one to marry them. I always tell people I'll bury and marry free as a pastor. And I have learned in life, you need to really connect with people before you can ever tell them anything. You need to really just connect. And when I look at this thing about Zacchaeus, he's a little short guy. We remember the story probably sometime in Bible school. We've heard that little story. He climbed up in a sycamore tree looking to be able to see Jesus. And when Jesus saw him up there, he said, come on down. We're going to go eat together. He didn't say, you're a sinner. You're going to turn, burn. He just said, come on down. And you know what? There was a big discussion about this because everybody was tore up that Jesus was eating with a sinner. I believe this. Before you can ever share your story, with people you got to connect with them the other day there was a guy that had come into the lighthouse down there it was at dinner time they serve meals at 12 and 6 and I said how you doing he said I, I'm doing all right I said uh, uh, he said I'm just worried about my dog I said you got a dog and they never let animals in there but there was this dog tucked under this table and he was laying there he said, you know, I've asked Miss Tay here, the one that actually runs the lighthouse, if she would bury me and find someone to take care of my dog. Well, immediately, there's one thing that I know something about. I always tell people I know something about God, basketball, and dogs. I can talk dogs with people. And so I started talking to him by his dog. And you know, before long, we were talking about a lot of things. I got to know his name. I got to know his history. I got to know what was behind him. I think you gotta connect with people before you can ever tell your story. It's an important part of winning people to God. And it's so important that we see that that is important to God. You remember in Luke 15, there was three cases about something being lost. Well, God in that chapter was just trying to put the emphasis upon the lost one, not on the 99. He cares about the 99, he loves us. But you know what? In that chapter, he put emphasis upon the lost coin, the lost person, the lost thing. And so I just wanna encourage you today, don't just be looking at yourself, but begin to look around the world around you and begin to touch them for God. And God will honor you and bless you. I love you. I want you to say to yourself this day, God is a good God and the devil's a bad devil.